Hi, thank you for watching Chitarupa Yoga and Fitness. I'm Laura Wilson and I take seniors from inactive to the fullest activity possible by showing ways to modify exercises so everybody can find a way to work out, keep moving, and maintain your independence as long as possible. And speaking of maintaining our independence, falls are a natural part of life. I actually fell while I was hiking yesterday. Thankfully, I didn't bruise or anything. I managed to roll with it and landed pretty easy. So that was nice. But um, I was able to get back up because I practiced getting down and up off the floor. And today we're gonna to use a chair for this. Most falls happen in the bathroom where there is a toilet, a side of a tub that you can use to leverage to get back up. So we're gonna practice, if you are able to do this, give this a practice every day. We're gonna practice with both legs lead because if we do fall, we tend to fall to one side. And if I had hurt myself yesterday, it would have been somewhere on this side. So I'd have to be using this limb to get myself back up if the injury had been severe. So have yourself a nice sturdy chair nearby. We're just gonna do a couple of, we're gonna start with a simple practice for those of you who aren't as confident and then one that's a little more involved. And we might even go a third step further. We'll see what happens. So what we wanna do is face our chair and we're gonna hinge forward with a slight bend in our knees. Let's start with our right leg. We're gonna come down to our knee and then our other knee. And let's start with our right leg again. We're gonna take that foot forward, push into our chair and with our legs, bring our feet together and stand up. Let's do the other side. Let's start with our left, come to our knees. And then we're gonna start with our left, pushing into the chair just a little bit, pushing into our left leg and bringing this back up. So we're gonna take this on down to the floor, hands and knees. So let's keep that bend in our knees, hinge forward, step back with the right knee and then the left. And then we're gonna bring our right hand and then our left hand down. Then we're gonna do that in reverse. Right hand and left hand up, right foot forward, tuck the left toes, let's press. And imagine squeezing your feet in toward each other and we're gonna come back up. The reason we wanna practice this, let's start with our left leg back first. I think I started with it up first as well. So let's go to the other leg this time. But if we practice this, now we use this leg forward. Tuck the right toes and come up. We want to practice this so that the muscles are prepared to do this when we do want to get back up. So let's take this all the way down to the floor because kind of like yesterday, let me show you how I wound up. Let's start with the right leg, right hand, and then we're just going to come over to our right side and sit for a moment. Now when we do fall, we want to get ourselves onto one side, push ourselves up, come here, See if we can make it. Now this is boring, not having any injury. We're gonna roll back onto our hands and knees. We're working the right side right now. So let's do the left side because that's the side I would need to use. We're gonna make our way all the way down to the floor and then just kind of roll off to that left side and come to a seat. Now chances are, if you fall, a lot of times you're all the way sprawled out on the floor. We won't go that far today. Let's come back to our hands and knees because we're just practicing. Whoops, hands first. And our legs tuck, squeeze, and lift. And if you're tired after that, you can just have a seat in the chair for a moment. <laughs> so shake it all out. Let me know in the comments if you do practice this because it is good to have those muscles prepared to be able to get you back up should you find yourself on the floor or the ground because it happens. I'm surprised I was the only one to fall yesterday and it only happened once. Uh, not kidding. Um, another thing to be aware of is the surroundings. I was looking at other stuff that was around and not where my feet were. Um, even when we were paying attention, there were a lot of roots and stuff. So it was kind of tricky. Several people, like I said, almost tripped on things. So be aware of your surroundings. Get to work on these muscles. Let me know in the comments if you do practice this on a regular basis. Let me know what you think of that. It helps reduce your fear of falling, knowing that you 
You may be able to get back up barring any injury that happens on the way down. Please subscribe to the channel. Ask your friends to subscribe. And let me, um, I'll hit that like button if you enjoy it. That way more people can find this on YouTube, okay? Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.